Hello everyone and welcome back. This video is going to be about the five primitive types in JavaScript. Our objectives for this video are to list the five primitive data types in JavaScript. We're going to work with numbers and basic math operators, and we're also going to work with strings and some of the basic string methods. So first up, why do we even care about learning these different types of primitives and all that kind of stuff? Well, one of the most basic jobs of a programming language is to be able to work with different types of data. So in order for us to be able to work with this data, we need to know how the language works with this data, because each language is different. You don't handle data in JavaScript the same way you do in C++ or Python or Ruby or any of the other languages out there. So you need to learn the syntax and kind of the, the nuts and bolts of it in each language you work with. So there are five types, as I mentioned. The first one is Boolean. Those are true-false. You have numbers, you have strings, and then you have null and undefined. We're not really going to get into null and undefined in this video. We're going to talk about those later. So we're going to focus on the first three. So the first one are Booleans. Booleans is simply true or false, is what it comes down to. True or false. Notice, this is not true. This right here, that is not true. That is not the value true. That's simply a variable name or possibly a string if we put it in quotes, but that is not true true. This is true. It has to be lowercase. True and false, they are case sensitive. So those are your booleans. And you have numbers, which are exactly what you think they are. You might have three. You might have 3.14. You might have negative 8 million. Whatever. One thing to note, especially for those of you coming with a background in more structured programming languages, JavaScript does not care about ints or floats or negatives or anything like that. These are all numbers. They're all the exact, they're all typed the same. So it doesn't, you don't have to declare your variable types when you're creating the variables. All of these are numbers. That's the only data type that is shared among those three. So there's no such thing as a float in JavaScript. There's no such thing as a long in JavaScript. There is a number. Next you have strings. Strings are basically characters, so I might put max. That's my puppy dog I'm sure you've heard about and you're going to hear more about. You might put the number 42. Notice that this is a number, but it, because it's in quotes, it is a string. And then finally, you have null and undefined, which as I said, we'll get into later. But null, undefined is how they are written. They are also case sensitive. They have to be lowercase, and we'll talk about those later. So this was just a very brief introduction to the five primitives. In the next video, we'll actually be using them and playing around with them. As always, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thanks.